Hey, welcome to my channel. You notice there's a swimming pool behind me? Well, that's because we're going to put an underwater drone in it, and we're going to put this underwater drone, the BW Space Pro that Andre is holding right there. Now, Andre, are you like me and have never, never uh, used an underwater drone? No, I've, no, yeah, this is going to be very new, very cool. So, yeah, so we're newbies, and we're going to give this a shot in Andre's pool because I want to take it out to a lake, but since we know nothing about underwater drones, Worst thing to happen is get out in the lake and something goes wrong and we lose it. So we're going to test it out here and you're going to get to watch us as we walk through the app and everything. And you're going to learn all about this drone as it goes around Andre's pool. Here we go. To assemble the underwater drone and have it all set to go outdoors, all you have to do is attach this included 100 meters of cable. So let's do that now. And it starts up. Put that on tight since we're going underwater. Andre, can I get you to just unspool a little bit of that? There we go. That's good. All right. And now I'll take the centerpiece. Centerpiece is going to attach to this Wi-Fi repeater right oh, here. Neat. All right. So it's a pretty simple connection. This, you don't want to get it in the water. So they have it attached to your spool, which is pretty heavy. Unless you take out all 100 meters, then it's not too heavy. So you might want to put a rock on this to keep it in location. And then uh, the cable just goes all the way out to the actual drone down here underwater drone and you just connect your phone to this and you're pretty much all set. Wi-Fi, it's got a 5G one and it's got a D4. I use the 5G. The app for this is called You Can Dive. Open that, enter directly, connect to the drone. It's got two types of drones there. I want to connect to this one. Model matching and pretty soon it's, it's checking itself, the sensors. Slide to unlock. And now you see the video of where we are and I will show you, Andre, if you pick that up and just point it at my head. So I'm looking at it, the drone is looking at me. All right, so on my phone app, I should be able to connect the controller. So I'm gonna click on top right and you notice over on the left says control mode is the app and I wanna click on the right hand one, but first I have to turn the controller on. So in the instructions, it says to do this, hold down, this is the W key and the power. It says hold them down together to put it in pairing mode. Do that, wait three seconds, one, two, three. Lights are all on, and then it says, hit this little stick controller over here to put it in stick controller B. It should search and find, via Bluetooth, this controller. And it said searching timeout, so it didn't find it. Whoa, 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 this is future Steve to tell you that, guess what? The phone, the app, my Android phone, the app, and the controller all work together fine. The problem is when I was shooting the video, I was using an older version of the app. You need the latest version and then everything works. So now my controller and my phone work together. But with that said, you're gonna see in the video, I controlled the underwater drone completely with my phone because it's so simple to use. The only time you might want to use the controller is if you get your hands all soaking wet. Well, then, you know, touching a screen's not going to work so well. And probably the only other time you'll want to use the controller instead of your phone is if you're doing virtual reality. And then you'd use a pair of goggles, something like this. These are like these $15 goggles off of Amazon. You just slap your phone in the front, you put it in VR mode, close it up, put these on your face, and then you're watching everything in virtual reality and controlling everything on your controller. All right, now back to the video. Andre, toss the drone in the water, toss it. Toss it's, it. it's really constructed well. There's no way that could break. Just don't stand on the cable. Yeah, no, I'm just curious, how, is it gonna float right away? Well, I don't know, let's see. I'm as new at this as you are. Let's go. Cable out there? Yeah, go. Toss it. All right, I'm cutting in here again because I just wanna show you what comes in the box. I'll show you now before we go on with this video. It's only gonna take like a minute or two, but uh, here we go, check out what comes in the box. And now a super fast unboxing of the BW Space Pro underwater drone. First item in the box is the instruction guide and you get some extra O-rings down here. Next, we have the beautiful BW Space Pro and this item weighs 8.5 pounds, which is 3.9 kilograms. It does have some weight to it and it's extremely solid. Like this is made extremely strong. I'm sure the weight is a massive battery inside because if you use this at low speeds, it says it can go up to like five hours of battery power, which is quite a bit. Take a look at the motors. On the back, you have the horizontal motors to move it forwards and backwards. And on the top, you have two thrusters 
to go vertical up and down right here and in the front. The motors are all brushless and they will move this along at a speed of three knots, which is 1.5 meters per second. And that is either forward or up and down. Over here is where you're gonna connect your cable, your 100 meter included cable, which you'll see in a second. And around this area, it looks like there's some O-rings that they supply extra. So you can replace the O-rings to make a perfect seal. Also included is a tube of O-ring lubrication that you will need to apply to the O-rings right here. There's two of them. Each time you replace the O-rings, put some of this lubrication on so that your connector cable goes on nice and smooth and comes off nice and smooth and keeps the water out. On the rear, you have this gold circular item, which looks like it's uh, you could put a chain on it. I think it's designed so that you can attach a rope or some other cord besides what's up there. So if you get stuck, you just yank it back up and not have to worry about yanking on this, which would actually break. Taking a look at the front, we have the 4K camera right here covered by a piece of glass and the CMOS sensor is a one over 1.7 CMOS sensor. Since this camera must travel in dark, dark areas underwater, it has a 1.4 aperture to let lots of light in. On either side of the camera, you have the LED forward headlights, which are massively bright. Also included is 100 meters of wiring with metal couplings to this end, and there should be one through here. There we go. And you can see you can actually attach this at the rear of the drone. So remember that gold hook at the rear of the drone? You can attach this. And that way, if you yank on this cable, you're not yanking on the coupling. You're only yanking on the rear of the drone to pull it back. Next, we have the Wi-Fi repeater device right here, which is your device to use to boost the signal from here all the way down to here via the 100 meter cable. It's gonna tell you how you're connected. So when you connect your phone, your phone is going to connect to this as well as the remote controller and everything is going to function. Here we have the remote control. This is called the simple remote control. Apparently, according to the instruction, you can get two types of remote controls. This is simplified and there's one that's more advanced. This one looks more like an Xbox. And let me just show you the buttons. I just read them in the manual. So that's your power button. That is to zoom in, that's to go wide angle. So there is a drone that you can get for underwater that has zoom. The one I have doesn't have zoom, so I don't know if these will work. This is your camera auto brightness button and that's your depth maintenance button. Over here on the D-pad, pressing up will look up and pressing down will make the drone look down. Pressing to the left will reduce your speed and pressing to the right will increase your speed. And on the front, you have four buttons. You have your video, your photo, and enhance the brightness and make it darker. This unit here I've placed on the controller is something that just wraps around. If you push here, it pops right off and you'll take it off to charge up the controller. And up here is so you can fit your cell phone in there. Nice big cell phone. Final items in the box, you get a USB cable and I did receive the power brick and it did come with a North American power cable, thank God. And over here, this here power brick has two ends on it. Let me just pull these out. So basically you charge up the massive battery in the drone, connect one end, dunk, and take the other end and connect it to the Wi-Fi repeater and uh, charge them both up at the same time. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all that's included in the kit. Cable out there? Here yeah, toss it. What well, floats? It's pretty heavy, but it floats. <laughs> Send it to Andre. All right, so here we go. We have the drone in the water. Andre's got a camera pointing at it. Now, if I want to move the drone down to the bottom of the pool, I just pull down my left joystick, just like on a uh, drone in the air, a quad. And I go down to the bottom of the pool, pretty much. There we are, coming down, coming down, coming down, and resting on the bottom. And if I want to bring it back up a bit, I can come up. But even cooler than that, there's a little thing on here. I can angle it to look way up in the, the air. Look at that, I can look at the top of the pool. So I can make it look down 45 degrees. Look at the bottom of your pool. And let's see, you're looking at the camera. I'm gonna turn on my lights. So it's a good thing I'm testing this out because if I was in a lake, I would not be able to see the drone and also the orientation at the same time. The good thing is I'm using a Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy Note 8, and it's very bright outside, so I can actually make out everything on the screen. Now there's speeds on here as well. I'm in low speed, so low speed for the pool. So if I'm moving forward, let's move forward, go into the ladder, turn around, see it down there, zoom by. I'm cruising, I'm a cruising. There is an altitude hold on this, just like on a drone. So I'm gonna bring it down. So it should stay at the depth it is now, and I should be able to just move it forwards and backwards without uh, doing anything else. So if you were checking out something and you want to stay at a certain depth, that seems to work quite well. 
and I can move forward, no problem. And to the side, so this all works out amazingly well. All right, put your hand in the water for a sec. I want to see where you are. Yeah, right here. Okay. Okay, drop it, Andre. He's going to drop my GoPro. We'll watch it coming down. Ah, did it? Which, did it flip? No, it's like sitting this way. So if we were coming this way. Let me look down at it. But I'll, uh, I'll flip it over. I'll, I'll turn it around. I can use the stick. Touching the power button. There you go. Do you got it? There you go. See if you can push it out a bit. We're trying to put a GoPro at the bottom of the pool so we can look up as the uh, little little guy goes over it. So that's pretty cool. So I could move around here and look at the GoPro on the bottom of the pool. Okay. Aha. All right. There we go. Cruising over the GoPro. Bring your boat over top too? So now I have the boat and the underwater drone. Okay, so I'm going to bring the drone up. I've got, I'll take the altitude hold off. There we are. Hey, I can see your boat underwater. Nice. Coming at the boat, da -na, da -na. <laughs> right under it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the nose up and look under your boat. So here we go, looking at your boat underneath. Whoa, there it is, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think you need the controller. I could control this quite well with the uh, actual uh, phone. So what I'm gonna try to do is go down and uh, look up at your boat. Go around with your boat, just bomb around the water. I should be able to get a video of it. There we go, perfect. Whoa! All right, so a few other things to show you on here in the settings. You see you have your controller settings right there, calibration, depth calibration. Then for resolution, there, these are all the resolutions. Right now I have it in 4K, so I have 496, 2160. Uh, your live vid video resolution is what goes back to your phone. And I've got it at 720, so that's what I see on my phone. Bit rate. It tells you to leave it at about two megabits so it's not too blotchy. If you go higher, you might get stuttering. Image stabilization, watch this. I'm gonna turn it on and you notice how everything magnified on my screen. So here I'm gonna put image stabilization on and I'm gonna record a piece right now. You tell me if you see any difference. There we go. So Andre's hands right there. We're floating in the water. It's kind of hard with image stabilization because just the way things are. Uh, so that's image stabilization. I'm just gonna turn it off now. Color adjustments, there's all your color adjustments. You can adjust everything for underwater. White balance, there you go. Normal, auto, lock, white balance. Night cut, if you're filming at night, it will turn into black and white. Exposure, right now it's nice and sunny, so not a problem. Details about your battery, device battery life, 65%. And here it tells you all your battery information. And if you look at my screen, here's all the good stuff, the repeater, battery, everybody else. Looking at the bottom of the screen, you have my headlights. I can turn them on by dragging it up. That's full lights, headlights are on, and I can reduce it and reduce it. Next over is my altitude hold. When I click that, it will hold it at the altitude I have it. Above that is my angle of attack. So I can look down, there we go, look down, and I can look straight back up. And there we go, without moving anywhere. That looks right out of the water. Next over on the right is my speed of that. See, it's low. If I tap it again, I'll move it up. Oh, that's high. Move it halfway. There we go, medium, and then high speeds for moving forward, backwards, sideways, all that good stuff. Right on the top, going from left to right, on the top left is the underwater orientation of the drone. Then we move over to the Wi-Fi connection. Then we have the temperature of Andre's pool, which is 24.8 two degrees Celsius. Next is device connected. If your drone ever disconnects, it's gonna tell you up there and you can manually disconnect it as well. There's the drone battery, the repeater battery voltage. And then when you come to the right, Andre, you're gonna love this, you ready? On the right, there's these group of people. Andre can actually connect his phone and see the video image from it. Give it a shot. So the cool thing about this repeater is it lets spectators like Andre, if you're all in a boat, you can all watch the video footage. Only one person can control it and that's me. There you go! See, Andre now on his iPhone is watching the same video feed as me on my Android phone. So if you have spectators, let me just hold this up so my camera sees them without the glare. <laughs> you can see everything, but only one person can control. You have no controls on there, right? I don't think so. Uh, what's this dive one? VR mode. Oh, if you put VR headset. Oh, jeez. Yeah, virtual reality, that would be cool. I have that too. Switch to controller. Fail to switch. Because you gotta, yeah, you're in. You're yeah, in I'm man. controlling it here. So since you're in, mm -hmm. so what we're doing, since you're in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop out and you take control. Okay. Okay, so go hop up so you can see what you're doing. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I'm going to hit those little people up top, the picture of them, and see what happens. Viewer mode. Switch to viewer mode. Confirm. I'm switching the viewer. I'm on viewer. You must have control. Okay. Switch to control. Done. Ha ha! You are now in control. Right. He's, he's trying this for the first time, cruising around. Wow. He's, he's, he's speedy. Just like a uh, drone, pretty much, right? Yeah, it's actually oh, there, right over top Look of the GoPro. Woohoo! The control, there. and then straighten out, and then punch it. Oh yeah, look at that oh. go. And he dives up. Your phone has Bluetooth on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so for a uh, iOS phone, it should work. So if I go like this, mm -hmm. hold the T and the power for iOS. Mm -hmm. It's different than on Android. I have lights. She's on. So then what you have to do is on the top, do you see your gear icon? Yeah, gear icon. And then it should say Bluetooth control three. mode to mode B. Oh, there it is, control B. Okay, oh, it works. Now I can control it. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I've tried this and Andre's tried it and we'll give you our final thoughts in a little bit. So, oh, you're doing well. I can see you getting it up. There we go. Now I'll follow you up. You got it, there you go. Right on! Well done! <laughs> I'll take it off altitude hold. It should come up. Coming up, coming up. It's so easy when to, to move it up and down. Like, I mean, it's, it just goes so nice. Bring it over here and I, I will pull it out of the water. All right, let me see. I'll just grab this thing. I'll take it out. And, oh, sorry. Hit the lock button. Yep, hit it. Okay. And I'll yank it out. <laughs> it is pretty heavy, I tell you. Well, it's got to have ballast, I guess. All right, so this is the part of the video where we're going to give you our final thoughts on this BW Space Pro drone. First off, never, never ever used one before, but I thought it was pretty cool. And Andre, what do you think? This is neat. I really... I'm looking forward to seeing this thing in open water versus a pool. <laughs> well, now that we've tried it, I've got a better idea how it works, and I'm pretty confident I can use it out in some open water someplace. So that's going to be in another video coming up. All in all, my first time using one of these, Andre's first time, and we've only used it in the pool, but we found it relatively easy and simple to use. It took a little, took a little bit to get the hang of it because we're used to flying drones and RC airplanes, but uh, just the mechanism of getting it to go slow, nice slow movements, moving around, forward, backwards, up, down while you're moving, just like a drone. Takes a little bit of skill, but I don't know, what, five minutes and we both yeah. had it pretty good. Yeah. So all in all, it's pretty good. So thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for another one where we take this out to some place where the water is a bit deeper and uh, try it out and search for some hidden treasure. Until then, guys, thanks for watching. From me, Steve, I'm saying bye. And from Andre, see ya. <laughs> catch you in the next video. Take care. <laughs>